It is a cynical response to a legitimate issue and problem. While I don't want to take anything away from any black man that gets an opportunity to become a head coach in NFL, we all know that without this pressure being brought on by both the media that covers the league as well as this class action lawsuit, we all know that no one will be talking about Lovey Smith as a head coach candidate right now. You know, Brian Flores had more winning seasons than the first four white head coaches that were hired in this cycle combined. This is the real issue. It's not whether or not the NFL, you know, can find enough acceptable names to throw out there in order to get the heat off of them. It's the fact that they aren't doing this in earnest to begin with. They're only doing this in response to the criticism. You have to change the culture, which means you have to change hearts and minds. And this is not the way that we do it.